Hey, before we get started, I want to say thank you to Aptiv for sponsoring today's Daily Boost. Aptiv produces audio-based workouts created by certified personal trainers and available through a mobile app. And might I say, it is very cool. New members get 30% off an annual membership. Visit Aptiv.com slash boost. That's A-A-P-T-I-V dot com slash boost. Tuesday. Surviving the thunder showers here in Central Florida. Yeah, it's true. It's hot and steamy and icky and buggy. And it is June in beautiful New Smyrna Beach, Florida. It's the daily boost as well. The positive boost you need every single day. Because life gets in the way. Sometimes you want to do stuff. Sometimes you have dreams and ideas. And, and sometimes you just wonder. And sometimes you just don't even know. And, just get up one day and say, you know, maybe there's something else I can do. Maybe there's something that can be better. I wonder what's out there. We explore all of that and show you ways to get there, kind of ways to stay between the lines, stay ways to stay on track, ways to get what you want, little by little, one by one, step by step. That's how it takes. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Although we're not really, it's kind of complicated, right? You know, life would be really easy if they gave us a manual when we were born. Here, read this, do this, exactly this way. But no, no, they basically say, get out there, figure it out yourself, listen to everybody else, and then figure out if what they said was right or wrong. And then if you do what you should be doing, gather the knowledge you get from all that experience and then do what works, which you know works. Even if you listen to me, I want you to do what works, okay? Because not everything I do will work for you, but you will find things along the way that fit perfectly to that. My name is Scott Smith. I'm the founder and the chief motivating officer here at MotivationToMove.com. I said at the beginning of the show that this episode is brought to you by Aptiv. Aptiv produces audio-based workouts created by certified personal trainers, and they make them available through a very neat mobile app. Now, I have this. They actually gave me a sample. Said, Scott, try this for a month and check it out and see what you like about it. And yeah, I like everything else. Put it off for a couple of days. And then I, I stopped putting it off and I looked at it. And it is awesome. I love this. I love this app. I love what they're doing. I love the quality of what they're doing. They have expert trainers, and that's what they do. They want maximum results and motivation. Now, Aptiv, what they do is this. They make high-quality training available to anyone with a really carefully selected group of certified personal trainers. I've looked out in the world, and I've seen trainers. They've got the best, a wide, wide array of personalities. You can find somebody who's going to speak right to you and motivate you. I promise that. Plus, they have an in-house music production team. This is vitally important because if you don't have the in-house music production team, you can't bring the entire experience together. So they take the trainers and they take the music producers and they get together and they go, how do we make this really motivating? It is awesome. You'll love the music on the app app as well. Uh, whether you like to work out at the gym, at home, outside, when you're traveling on business, Aptiv is ready to go. It really truly is like a personal trainer in your pocket. And what blew me away about this was I figured, okay, fine, they would have maybe some step or some some running stuff, maybe for the treadmill. They do. Plus, they have strength training. They have indoor cycling, stair climbing, yoga, even meditation. I mean, it's awesome. They'll give you the guidance that you really, really need and really want, I think, to keep yourself going. They also have classes. Fitness levels, doesn't matter. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. They've got it. 2,500 workouts on the uh, platform. They, I think they do about 30 new ones every single week, so you want to try that. And also, here's something I think might really appeal to you, along with everything else does. You can search by difficulty. You can search by music genre, by duration. So you can find a workout that fits you and really works for you for where you are right now when you go to the gym. So I've done all of that with my active membership. You should check it out. Subscriptions start at fourteen ninety nine, billed monthly. They're ninety nine ninety nine for an annual membership. We can do better than that, though, because for a very limited time, new members get thirty percent off an annual membership, which is just sixty nine ninety nine for a whole year of unlimited workouts. So visit aptiv dot com slash boost. That's a a p t i v dot com slash boost. Let me say it again, a a p t i v dot com slash boost. I am so happy you're here today. You know why? You can ask. It's okay. Because you don't have to be here. You don't. You, you don't have to be listening to this kind of thing. And I promise you this, just the mere fact that you're seeking it out and that you are listening. I think you don't even almost have to listen. I think if you just say, hmm, I think about listening. I think a little bit of change has already been done. Now, if you put the time in and you listen closely and you pick up the lessons that are here, and that's all they are, hard-won life lessons. I learn everything from the School of Hard Knocks. That's it. Now, I've gotten smart lately. I really have. I figured out, um, oh, probably about 15 or 16 years ago, I said, I don't want to play that game anymore. I don't want to go to that school anymore. I want to graduate. <laughs> I, 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 you know what started? 
I, I began to say, you know, there's a lot of advice, there are a lot of strategies, there's a million ways to get what you want. There, there's no one path for anybody. And what I figured out was, what would Scott do? So insert your own name there, you know, what would, what would Bonnie do? What would Jim do? Insert your own name. What would I do if you want to? And so in a particular situation comes up and you don't know what to do, all right, what would I do? I mean, if I could do what I wanted to, the way I wanted to, the way that felt comfortable for me, the way that I've always known my entire life would work out, what would I do? I don't know that a lot of folks do that. I know successful people do. I know I do often. I will take your suggestion, but at the end of the day, I'm going to go, wait a second, kind of been to this rodeo before. I've ridden this horse before. I even bought the T-shirt on my way out. I kind of know how it worked out, so I think I'll do it the way I know that's going to work and leave it at that. Hmm, maybe you should, too. So today, I want to talk to you about being busy with a buzz. Not getting buzz. Nope, being busy with a buzz. Uh, yesterday, we talked about you know learning a lot and confusing learning with doing. It's pretty common. happens all the time. But the buzz is seriously insane these days. If you're getting caught up in the buzz of life while you run crazy to your goals, is it helping you get there? With the Internet, with how many TV channels now? I don't even know. With Netflix, it's it's an endless. You could stay on Netflix for years now. Your entire lifetime, I'm sure, could be spent on Netflix and never, ever have to leave. Thank goodness for unlimited Internet, right? There's so much going on to, to grab your attention, your friends, your family, your coworkers, society, and all these people who do it for a living. And, and by the way, I don't hold anything against them. I do the same thing. When I write a podcast, I don't write a podcast, but when I decide what I want to do it on and I make a few notes, I typically end up with a title. I don't really work it too hard. I, sh I probably should work it harder because, you know, on the Internet, if you if you word it right, people find you. In other words, you get people's attention and you're sucked in before you know it. I don't pay that much attention to it, but I pay a little bit of attention. It's pretty natural because you do have to kind of reach out in anything you do in your world. Doesn't matter. I'm talking about you now. You do have to decide how to communicate your message to other people. And when you do, you get their attention. Suddenly you get busy. So imagine it the other way around. You have a world's worth of people that are trying to get your attention and try to get you caught up in their buzz. They want you to run faster and faster and faster and faster. I don't think too much about you. I don't think they're doing it on purpose, although some are. They're living their life, and they just want everybody in their buzz. But if you run faster, you're not going to get what you want. I know that to be true. You're just going to go faster and get busier. Moving a 1,000 miles an hour is a lot of fun sometimes. So when I'm on a project that's kind of a passion play, when I really like what I'm doing, holy moly, I'll go fast and furious until I fall over and wear out and take a break. But if you do it all the time just for the fun of it, not directed directly at your focus, then it's just kind of biz. You know, focus on what you're doing. There's so much to keep you busy these days. There are people that get out of bed. I ask them. I ask my coaching clients all the time. So what did you do today? And they start telling me. And before you know it, it's a whole bunch of nothing. Because at the end of the day, if you want to write a book, guess what? You get out of bed, you write a book. You want to raise animals? You get out of bed early and you go raise animals. My friend Nia Amir says, writers write. Most of her coaching practice is about helping writers who say they want to write, start writing. It's kind of odd. They do everything but that. I have a lot of friends. I say, God, I want to run a podcast. I want to start a podcast like you do. Great, go do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I know in my heart I'm a podcaster. I say, well, evidently not, because you're not doing it. Hmm. Writing a thousand miles an hour toward what you want to do is perfectly fine. A thousand miles an hour toward everything else is just kind of wasted time. It's kind of taking the easy way out. You feel busy. You're confusing activity with getting things done. Maybe that's why you're not getting what you want. So today what I'd like you to do is I'd like you, uh, can I give you a homework assignment for today? It's pretty simple. Take a moment. If you're not that fancy, take a minute. It's okay. There's 60 seconds either one. doesn't matter. A moment, minute, it's up to you. Evaluate where you are today. Evaluate your progress. Are you buzzing for the sake of buzzing? Bzzz. Or are you... Are you busy creating your dream life? Is there some kind of focus? Now, I'm the first to tell you that on a day-to-day -day basis, consciously, I don't know. It's kind of difficult. I, I'll agree with this. I know a lot of people won't, but it's difficult every single day to constantly be right on track and say, this is what I'm doing every single minute of the day. I've got my goal. I'm heading that direction. The more you can do that, the faster you'll get there, no doubt. But it is difficult to do. I tend to stay in a direction. I tend to stay in a direction. I put a, I put a timeline on it. I say, well, this is where I'm heading today. And it's going to take me a month to get there. As long as I get there in a month, I'm kind of okay with how I do it. I don't really care what I'm doing minute by minute. Well, it's up to you. You can decide what works for you. I suggest you do. That's the only way to really get what you want.
I've often wondered about people who say, I just want to be myself. I just want to do life my way. But, 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 I'm going to follow everybody else, listen to what they say, do what they tell me to do, and when I get there, I'll be free. I won't. <laughs> you won't know what to do. Not like you'll be beholden to them. You have no idea how to make up your own mind and forge your own path. I suggest you embrace who you are today. You have everything inside of you that, that will get you where you want to go. You already know that. And if you don't, you, can, you already know how to figure it out. I have 100% certainty in that. 100%. I know this. I know that if you have no idea what you want in life or what you'd like to do that makes things a little bit different, I know that if you have no idea how to go about it, if you had no idea at all, I know the very minute you decide, okay, I'm fine. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm 100% certain that you will, one step at a time, and you'll get exactly what you want. I don't know how long it will take. That doesn't really matter. What I know is you can do it, and you can get there. How do I know that? I say it every day, not only myself, but all kinds of people. If you really want it, you'll figure it out. All there is to it. You might cry a little bit along the way. might stub your toes a couple of minutes here or there, but you know, <laughs> not a big deal. All right, coming back tomorrow as we continue to rock through this thing we call life. <laughs> If I'm not back, it doesn't really matter. I'm on a week delay, so if I'm not back, you won't know for a week. But anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, I hope.